Hello everyone, this video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 4.4.2.9 Troubleshooting IP Version 4 Access Control List. This video is a part of the Cisco RNS Connecting Networks Version 6 Curriculum. Now hopefully by this point you have configured the um, Packet Tracers on IP Version 4 Standard and Extended Access Control List because you do have to know how to configure them before you can troubleshoot them. So we've got three different issues here, um, kind of one with each ACL that they have on R1, so all of them are on R1, and they kind of tell us what they want, and now let's see, like, based off of the three different access control lists, if it does the job based off of the order of rules. So the first one, it says host from the 192.168.0.24, or sorry, slash 24, so this network here, are unable to access any TCP service of server 3. That's up here. So this is my source down here right now. And this is my destination, just that server 3. Okay, so it wants my source, sorry, source to be the entire network down there all right so this entire network sorry I can't move it um, they have that block so this entire source down here is the desti or the source is where it's coming from to this destination server 3 so we want to block it that's what we want to do that's unable to do that but let's look at R1 to see what we've got for that ACL Okay. Show IP access list. All right. So this is the 192 going to the 10 network. So the 192 network going to the 10 network. That's the last extended ACL IP access list we see here. So they've got one statement in here, which is deny any TCP traffic. Let's see what type of traffic they want. They want to deny any TCP traffic, okay, from the 192.168.0.0, all right, network is a slash 24, so that would be 255.255.255.0, so the wildcard is correct there in 0 .0 0.0.0.255, going to that one host, which is server 3, and is that server 3's IP address 10.255.255.254. That is all correct, okay? So that is what we want to deny. However, we want everybody else to be able to contact server three. Okay, so we just want that one network to be affected there. Okay, so what do we need below that? We need a permit any statement. Okay, so we need to go in there and edit that access list. So we're going to do IP access list. 192 underscore 2 underscore 10 and it is an extended so we got to put that in there and we want to put the sequence number or you can just put it's going to automatically put it next so if this is the first line we don't really have to put a sequence number there but we want to permit everybody else all right and that is in our directions here it says should not otherwise be restricted other than that one ACL there okay so we want to do permit Okay, and then IP any any. Okay, so we want to permit all other traffic. So permit IP any any. And now if we go back and do a show IP access list, we'll see here now we got that permit any any after that. Because remember, there's a deny any any explicitly at the bottom there that we cannot change at the bottom of every ACL. Okay. So we got to think logically about that order in that list. All right. So that fixes the first one. We got 30 out of 90. Now let's look at the second one. All right. Now the next one we've got is the host from the 10.0.0. Let's delete these out of there. So this time host from the 10.0.0.0 network. Okay, this is going to be my source this time. Okay. Um, are intentionally unable to access the HTTP service of server one. 
So we do not want them to be able to contact server one down there. That's my destination right now. So source, network, just server one is the destination. Okay. So let's look at what we got there. That's the 10 going to 172. So do show. Oh, we already got it up. So right here, 10 to the 172 network. Right here. Okay, so we got deny TCP traffic from that network. All right, a, a slash eight, remember, is 255.0.0.0. So that is the correct wildcard, 0.255.255.255, going to the host 172.16.255.254, equal to www traffic. So again, HTTP traffic is www or port 80. So that is correct. That is actually the correct IP address of that server as well. You can double check it in your address and table up here. Server 1.172.16.255.254. Then it says 20 permit IP any any. Okay. So that all looks right to me. Everybody else should be able to contact everything, and that's the order it goes in. So that looks right. So the only other thing to check is where did they apply it at? So let's do a show run to see where they applied it at. Okay, so this is the 10 going to 172. So 10 to 172, they applied it out of G00. Let's look at our interfaces here. So this one's G00 up here. That one's G01. So let's do that. This one is G00. I know it looks like G01, but that's the one on the switch. I know they're so close together. It's kind of hard to tell. This one is G02. On the router end is the only end we care about. And then that one is G01. Okay. So they've applied it right here going out. Now, technically, this traffic will be coming into that interface, not going out of G00. The traffic is coming into G00 from the source. So here, we need to change that from out to in. So we want to go to interface G00 and just change it. So it was um, IP access group, and this one was um, 10... To 172 in. So the traffic is coming in to instead of going out of. Okay. I think that was the name of it, right? 10 underscore. Yeah. And then I guess you could do no IP access group 10 underscore 2 underscore 172 out oh sorry just to double check that that's not there so you need to clear that out and put the new one in so when you do a show IP or sorry do show run we should only see it coming in now okay so we use the no command to go to type in the out and then we put it back in okay exit out and we'll lastly fix the last one so do show IP access list now we are looking at this one the 172 let me delete my cancel now we're looking at the 172 to 192 so in that one it says host from the 172 network so my source is going to be over here Okay, that's my source network is going to the server two. We want to block FTP traffic. So this is my destination over here for FTP. So we want to block that. So on R1, let's look at what we got. So 172 to 192. We're permitting IP any any. Then we're blocking the FTP traffic. It should not be that way, right? If we permit everything, it's never going to get to this one to block it. It's just going to permit everything. So we need to clear that 10 out. How do we do that? Well, we do IP access list. 
extended and then 172 underscore 2 underscore 192 and then we're going to do no 10. What that does is it deletes the entry. So if you do a show IP access list again, all right, that entry is gone. See how it was there before? Now it's not. So now we want to put in the permit statement because again, we do want to permit everybody else at the end. So we'll do 30 or you could just actually just type it and it's going to assign it 30. Um, but we'll do permit. Well, let's do it anyway. 30 permit. IP any any okay so what it does is it puts it after that statement so when we do a show IP accesses now you see there is no 10 statement but that's okay we don't need a 10 sequence number it basically just reads them in numerical order it doesn't matter what the sequence numbers are so it's going to block FTP traffic first then it's going to permit everybody else that's the correct order and we've got 90 out of 90 okay so it is important to understand how you configure them as well as how to do your show run and do uh, your show IP access list and kind of look at your sequence numbers, be able to identify what's going on. Um, so again, troubleshooting is very important because a lot of troubleshooting happens on a day-to-day -day basis in networking and computers in general.